In this video, I'm going to rank the six official Sean Connery Bond films and the unofficial Bond film, which is in seventh place. Shall we just get on with it? Shall we just get on with it? Because it is my seventh place Sean Connery Bond film, one of the worst Bond films ever made. Sean Connery phones it in, and he arguably is the best James Bond ever. But 9A Freeze, Never Say Never Again, the remake of Thunderball is... I don't like it. In 6th place is a solid entry to the Bond films and has some great Sean Connery Bond moments. But uh, it offers the, the least out of the other 5 official Sean Connery Bond films. Thunderball, 965's Thunderball. Directed by Terence Young. In fifth place, I'm going to go with Diamonds Are Forever, Sean Connery's original return in 1971. It's directed by Guy Hamilton. Um, my fourth favorite Sean Connery official Bond film, I'm going to go with. You Only Live Twice from 1967, the fifth official James Bond film. It was released the same year as the spoof Bond film Casino Royale, which is the, the, the I'm looking at it right now with daggers in my eyes. It is the worst. I don't even regard it as a proper James Bond film. Even though some of the Roger Moore entries and specifically Never Say Never Again are really pushing the self parody aspects of the Bond films. Casino Royale is straight up spoof and you can't really rank it or have it in the same discussion as the other Bond films. It just it it's it's it's, it's it lives in its own universe and it's it's not a very good universe. Anyways, rambling on here. My fourth where are we? I've lost where I was. This video is trash. In highly professional, highly professional for me. In third place, I'm going to go with Dr. No, the original James Bond film, released over 57 years ago now, since the uh, official James Bond film franchise began. I was going to make a joke about the upcoming James Bond film in 2020, but uh, let's not go there. Um... Dr. No, the original, the Bond on a Budget, is my third place Sean Connery Bond film. In second place is a film I have a love, sort of hate relationship with. I loved it originally. It was my favourite, or one of my favourite James Bond films originally. However, I during the middle of Goldfinger, I got a bit... Bored, really bored. See what I did there? Couldn't resist that. Um, it's directed by uh, Guy Hamilton, who directed Diamonds Are Forever, as I previously mentioned, and he went on to direct two more Bond films starring Roger. But um, what saves this movie and what makes this my second choice out of the Connery Bond films is it has some of the most iconic moments, not just in Bond history, movie history, but movie history in general. The ejector seat, odd job, or at Goldfinger. The whole climax at the end is fantastic. Probably the best climax in out of the whole Bond series. And the start's really good, but just a bit in the middle, sort of. There's not enough locations during the middle, and I get a bit bored during it, but Apart from that, very solid film. Um, but the best, and arguably the best Bond film of all time, 1963's From Russia With Love, if I would show it off. To me, this is the definitive Connery Bond film, and arguably the best James Bond film ever made. 